We are one week away from the first ever digital SAT for international students and so I wanted to make a video to explain to you everything that you need to bring on test day. First thing you're going to need is a bag. You need somewhere to put all your stuff. This could be a backpack, it could be kind of like a laptop bag like this. This is step number one and make sure you get rid of like anything else that's in here. Just like give it a good shake. Oh hey what's that? Oh, that's a Oh, look at that. It's a score brochure, prepascore.com. You don't want to have anything except for the stuff that you need, which is what we're going to be putting into this bag very shortly because they are going to check this. And if you have a bunch of other stuff, it's going to slow down the process and just make it more difficult for you to get situated. What we want is to go to the test with exactly what we need, nothing more. And so probably the most important thing that you're going to put in this bag is your laptop. If you are taking the test with a device from the test center, then you don't need to bring this. But for everybody else who has opted to bring their own device, bring your laptop, tablet, or whatever you chose to use and make sure you get that in this bag. Now before you do that though, make sure that you've updated Blue Book. I would strongly recommend you do that in the last couple of days before the test. That's going to be important for another thing that we have to bring, which is our admission ticket, but we'll talk about that in a minute. College Board says you're going to need about three hours of battery life, but we all know that, you know, sometimes things don't charge right. Sometimes it sucks more power than you think it should. Bring a charger, okay? And not some dinky little crappy charger for your phone like this. You got to bring like a big chunky charger, the kind of boy that can get you back up to speed in no time at all. I got this nice big brick right here that'll charge my laptop up to 100% in like 45 minutes. So this is what you want. I'll stick that in the bag. Yeah. You might want to bring something like this, just a little plug converter, depending on your country and your laptop, right? Like if you have a laptop charger with the three prongs in like the typical American fashion and you're giving the test in some place that doesn't usually use that, that could be a problem for you. If you have a country like Peru where there's like two different plug standards and you're not sure which one might be used, imagine you get to test day and you go to plug in your charger and there isn't a socket for you because your plug is different from the kind of plug that they have at the test center. So bring your own adapter just to play it safe. Next items on the list, very simple, a pencil and sharpener. You are allowed to use a pencil to write out stuff, maybe take some notes, or especially for working on problems in the math part of the test. They will give you spare paper that you can use for this, but you're going to want to make sure that you have a pencil. And I would recommend a sharpener. That way you don't have to get up from your desk and like go to wherever the sharpener is, if there is one. So you can just sit here and do that yourself. You want some sharpener ASMR? Pretty satisfying, isn't it? Ooh. You might want to bring two pencils if you're the kind of person who gets angry and breaks pencils or if you're just the kind of person who loses stuff. Just have a backup. Never hurts. Put those in the bag. If you watched the video about 10 blue book tips, then you definitely know about this, a mouse. You definitely want to bring a mouse for the test. It's going to make you resolve the questions faster, mark your answers more accurately and quickly. Hey, guess what? You know what time it is? It's three minutes and 29 seconds into the video. And that is historically when all of you people leave my videos. And I don't quite understand why. So if you were just about to get bored and go click on something else, I want you to go into the comments and just shit all over this video. Tell me why you were bored, why you're leaving. I want to understand it because there's so much good information coming up next. And there's even a way for you to get a free SAT class with me. And that's going to lead to time savings throughout the whole test. So even if you're on a lab, Laptop, you are allowed to bring a mouse and I recommend that you do definitely put that in your bag. One of the most important tools you're going to bring is your calculator. Make sure you bring a calculator. You do not want to have to use the one that's in the blue book app. You're going to be clicking on numbers. It sucks. It's going to be a lot slower. So just like bringing a mouse, bringing a calculator is going to help you resolve the math questions faster. If you don't know if your calculator is permitted or not, all you have to do is go to this website. It's college board's own list of official calculators that are supported. You can check to see if yours is on the list. If not, you know, see what it's similar to. And if it's similar to one on the list, you're going to be okay. Make sure you bring that and put that in your bag. Starting to get a little heavy. We're not done though. 
probably too late to really do a lot of preparation, but there's still a chance for you to get ready for the May SAT. And I'm gonna be starting my next group class on March 6th, and we still have some open space. And so what I thought would be fun to do is give you guys a chance to be part of my class. This video has come out on a Thursday, and I will be deciding which two people get those spots on Saturday. To actually get into the test, you are going to need to bring some form of ID. Now, there is an exception for this if you are taking it at your school. Most schools, since they already know you, will probably let you in with just a school ID or even if just like somebody at the school verifies that you are you. But if you're going to a test center that isn't your school, you need to bring some form of valid ID. So I would strongly recommend that you bring like your national ID, driver's license, or passport, whatever is acceptable. And make sure you check the requirements on the SAT website because in some countries, not all documents are acceptable. In some countries, you actually have to bring your passport. So like double check the ID requirements for your country if it's the first time you're going to your SAT. The link for that is in the description, so just check it out. Make sure you have the right kind of ID. This is super important. If you don't have this, they're not gonna let you in. Put that in the back. The admission ticket. So five days before the test, you will actually see in your Blue Book application an upcoming test, which is for the date and location that you've selected. And in there, you will see the option to set up the test on Blue Book. This will download some additional content to the app. And then it will also ask you to get your admission ticket. You need to bring your admission ticket and you can't just have it in your laptop. Now, you can print this out or you can email it to your phone and just show up on test day with your phone and show them the admission ticket, but make sure you do something with this, okay? Either you print it out or you put it on your phone. Don't just walk up to the test center with your laptop open go and see it says I can take the test. Like, no, they want to see it on a more convenient device. So make sure you print it out or put it on your phone. So if you want to get a chance to get a free SAT class with me and my boy Eduardo who's going to handle the math class, then I'm going to need you to come into this form and follow the instructions and send me what I need. Make sure you follow the instructions in the form really carefully because if you make even one little mistake, I'm not going to bring you into my class. And that, my people, is basically everything that you need to bring for test day. Pretty simple, straight to the point. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been checking out these SAT videos lately. It has been awesome seeing the influx of new people to the channel. And I'm really, really grateful for all of you. And I just want to let you know that we do a whole bunch of other stuff here. This is not just an SAT channel. I typically visit universities and give advice about the whole admissions process. I am your college counselor. So check out some of the playlists that we have here on the channel. If you're new to the channel, you might like the university episode where I visit colleges and like check out the campus and talk to admissions officers. Or you might want to watch some of the interviews that I've done with a bunch of different students from different universities. Or maybe just check out some of the advice that I give to applicants. Like the SAT is just one small part of the bigger college application process. And to be honest, it's not the most important one. I know a lot of times it feels like it, but it's not. So there's a lot of other things that you need to know if you want to get into the college of your dreams, and that's what I'm here for. So any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week.